So let's start for our today live. Hi everyone, good evening from Thailand. Everyone, hi, hi from Cambodia, hi. How can I say? Greeting in Cambodian. Swazi day, something like that. Hi. Good evening from Thailand, everyone. Swadikhat. Today we have the appointment with our queen from Germany, Miss Rand Germany 2021, Miss Luisa Victoria. Hi, hi, hi. Greeting from Venezuela. Hola, buen, muy buenas noches desde Tailandia. A todo fan de Sudamérica o de Venezuela. Hoy voy a... Live con Miss Grand Germany 2021. So if you are ready, we I will invite her here, and here she. How are you guys? Hi. 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 Good evening from Thailand. Good. Good midday from Spain right now. Spain. Oh, now, now you live in Spain, right? Yeah, I'm in Spain right now. I'm, I'll be flying back to Germany next week. Oh. For preparation, right? Or... Ooh. What? Uh, no, I mean like you will like back to Germany next week, right? I'm thinking. Yeah, I mean, I, for I'm your preparation for or study. for anything. Yeah, yeah, just fixing the last thing so that we can finally get to the airport and just fly to Thailand. I'm I'm really excited. There's just two weeks left. Two yes. three weeks more or less. That, like something like twenty, twenty one, twenty twenty two days to go. Yeah. Wow, so excited. Me too. Yeah, so excited. I'm really, really Meet excited. You all? Yeah, okay. I'm, I'm really excited to just stay there to to be there and meet all the girls and for us to finally get to know us personally it's yes we do okay okay guys today we are going to do the interview live with our queen from germany miss run germany 2021 miss luisa victoria right yeah yeah bravo, right. Bravo. okay first of all could you please introduce yourself of course I'm Lisa Victoria Miles. I'm 19 years old, and I will be representing the beautiful country Germany in the next Miss Grand International 2021. I study fashion, and I'm a huge wow. sport fan. I I used to play volleyball for four years, and but right now I'm mainly focused on fashion design and just sewing a few dresses, and. I'm a big passion of really animals, fashion, and I've been in this pageant world for since I was a kid. Really, I I, I have been following Miss Grand International for almost five years now. So oh my I'm god! A big fan, you could say. So now it's like a, a dream come true for you, right? Yeah, wow. yeah, yeah. It so is, congratulations! It is, yeah. Thank you. So as you said that you like you like like about like fashion design or something like that, right? I would like to say like me too. Actually, I like in the past like when I was a child or something like that. I like have a dream that I want to be like fashion designer or something like that. But now I'm having a way like I'm now I'm studying Spanish. Ooh. Yes. Yes, actually, well, I heard you you presenting this live in Spanish and you did really good. Oh, thank you so much. Gracias. Just because, like, Spanish is, like, my 
my I have my I have my passion. As same like as you say, I was like, I have been watched like the competition about Miss Grand International or Miss Grand Thailand for five years or six years. Yes, so I have That's a passion a that I would like to like be able to communicate or like talk to the girl that's from Latin America or from Spain. So I have a passion that like I would like to like learn about Spain, Spanish. Mm. So now oh, I'm like that would be oh, really cool. Uh, could I? Uh, I will introduce myself. My name is Lorenzo. You call me Lorenzo. See, it's me. Nombre nice in Espanol. Nice to meet you too. <laughs> now I'm um, studying in uh, Faculty of Humanity in Major Spanish. Yes. Oh. Wow. That's so nice. It, it's really cool to see someone like fulfilling their dream. And yeah, well, you said that when you were a child, you liked fashion. And I think that really pageantry and fashion is something that goes together. And now that yes, you like yes, Spanish, definitely. you can like unite the two worlds. That's what, that's really what happened to me. Since I was a little kid, I always dreamed of being a fashion designer. And one of my, of my ambitions in life is to have my own brand with, with really pretty dresses and even bright dresses and as I always said, pageantry goes with fashion, and for me to be able to wear a few of my designs for for any like Miss competition is is really a big dream come true. And for me to be representing a country in an international competition is just it's mind blowing. <laughs> yes, yes, that's it. So, oh, who is this one? Oh, actually, we didn't know the thing. Oh my God, so many fans. Lots of love to Miss Run family team. Oh, thank you, thank you so much. Oh, this message from Miss from Germany. Oh, thank you so much. Wow. So, and how about you? Are like in your free time or your like daily? Your what would what you like to do? Like, uh, well, as any other girl right now, I'm really focused on training and preparing myself for the international competition. So I'm really into sports right now. And in my free time, I, um, I try to do the best in bettering my walk so that I can get to the international competition and just slay that catwalk. <laughs> and as many of you already know, like doing hair and everything, it was my best. So I'm really training to get those, those curls really wow. pretty. <laughs> but I'm, I'm, of course, I'm trying to get the little things done so that when I fly to Thailand, I have everything ready and I can just enjoy those three weeks in Thailand and don't have to stress that about anything. So I'm just trying to complete all of that. Yes, yes. and we like, really hope that you're going to do it well. So uh, actually, I uh, how, like how you work or like your performance. Actually, I I was like, what in oh you has been the competition, uh, Miss Grand Spain, Spain, yeah. right? Oh, can yeah. you share us about the that experience that you have been before? Of course. Well, I actually my first pageant was my the pageant of my city, Miss Grand Granada. And when I won that, I had the access for the Miss Grand Spain. I was going representing Granada. And I was really excited because it was my, my first time really like doing anything like that. And I had the opportunity to meet so many girls that really are now so close to me. And I got to like grow. I, I really grew from that Miss Grand Spain. And I um, I got to really see the potential I have. And when I got the placement of second finalist, I said that this is really what I want to do for the next few years. And well, Miss Grand Spain was my last step. And just a few weeks after that, I, I had the opportunity to go to the Miss Grand Germany. And it was really just stars uniting themselves and aligning. <laughs> But yeah, Miss Grand Spain is really what opened the doors for me. And I think I wouldn't be here if I wouldn't have stepped by that pageant. And I think wow. that Alba 
she really deserves the title and I'm really excited to meet her again because oh, she's, yeah. a, she's such a sweet girl and I think we're gonna help each other a lot because we already know each other know each other wow it's gonna be so fun right in the competition yeah oh, so Tyler can't wait to see you all then so you like do the activities like along your pool kit the like, everyday and pool kit are you excited for this year I'm you all really will excited. be in Phuket, Thailand. I am really, really excited. I'm actually trying to like learn a few a few words in Thai so that I can communicate oh. myself better with the organization. But the most excited I am for meeting the Thai people and just meeting the city and trying to get trying all the food and just really saturate myself and Thai culture. I I'm really excited about that. And since I'm flying to Thailand three three days before the actual competition, I just get to enjoy the city and meet the town people, and it 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 will be a dream. It, it is a dream. Wow! So, have you ever been in Thailand? No, I haven't. And Or I think any country that's in I'm Asia. So like, and any any country in Asia? No, I haven't. Oh, I actually I wow. always dreamed about visiting Thailand and Japan and China and Korea. Just do like the whole islands, really, just the whole continent. But wow. I hadn't had the chance yet. But I think this is this will be the start of that. Wow, that trip. This is your fir very first time. Wow. Mm. So, I I know that you're feeling you might be like so excited for sure, right? Mm. Oh. I'm really excited. I think the only thing I'm not excited for are those, the hours in the airplane, because they can get really long. But mm. it will be so worth it. How many hours? Um, I think from because I'm flying from Germany. Uh -huh. I think it's thirteen or fourteen hours. But the good thing yeah. is I don't do any skills, so it's a direct flight. But still, it, it's really hard for me to sleep. In the airplane, so oh, I don't want to come to Thailand with huge eye bags. Oh, it's right. I see you still beautiful. <laughs> Thank you. Wow. Oh, you you said that you like learn some like Thai ride. Can you show us some? Uh, well, it, it's really bad yet. I the only thing no. I can get really really good is. Swaika and now like and I can Kapunka. teach you. More. But yeah, please, please teach me. <laughs> What word do you want to know? I'm trying to saturate myself, and the thing is, I'm actually trying to learn, like the, the words for like, um, ordering Thai food, so that I can do it in <laughs> Thai, <laughs> because I think the the thing I'm most passionate about is food. <laughs> I really oh, love food. I love cooking. Course, I love pastry, and I um, don't tell my director, but I'm learning how to how to order food in Thai. <laughs> You wanna try? Okay, I I I hear I can teach you. Yeah, we we have to meet like in real life so that you can teach me. <laughs> okay, I hope that I hope so. I hope so. I don't, I think that we're gonna meet for sure in the final all the the important ground like swimming so oh the national costume the preliminary and final show. I really hope that. Yeah, okay, really let so. let like do some Thai. Okay, to order the food, right? Um, can you say it in English and then? Well, how about mango stick rice? <laughs> like, I want mango stick rice, something like that, right? How um, how do I say that? Uh, if you say like only mango stick rice, you said cow ni no, I want mango stick rice. Okay, um. Chan yeah, that is is a bit long. It's gonna be a bit long. Okay. Okay, I'll try. try my best. Please don't okay. laugh at me. <laughs> Not for sure. Um, Chan yeah, dai khao niu ma muong ka. Chan yeah, dao ma muong. Okay. Chan yeah, dai khao niu ma muong ka. Oh wait, that's really hard. <laughs> yes, it's a bit hard. Okay, Chang Ya Nai. Kang Yo Ma Mua. Kang Yo Ma Mua. Ha, yes. 
Ka, okay. Eh, uh, okay. ya nae, ka koma noa ka? Yes, it's fine. Oh. It's, good. it's almost, it's almost complete. Okay. Chan ya dai. It's like, Chan I want. Na. Chan okay? ya dai. Yes. And, kao niao ma muang. Kao niao ma muang? Yes, it's mango sticky rice. Right? Ma muang is mango. Kao niao is sticky rice. Right? I have to get that right. Yes. Yes. Okay. Yes. Oh my God. So sweet. Okay. I promise I will learn that. Okay. So remember that and try to set it in time when you arrive here. I, I, okay, when I get to Thailand, I will be just eating mango stick rice because it will be the only thing I know how to say. It's like, yes, I think like all of the girls might try that before because like, I think it is the most like popular dish, Thai dessert. Actually, it's like the most like delicious Thai dessert ever. You have well, to try. Then I, and I you, to try. And you must like don't eat it too much because, like, well, for your swimming suit competition. I, I, I don't want to get that. I'll just try a little bit. Oh, little let's bit. see, let's Doesn't see. <laughs> and any, like, any food that you, you know, from Thailand, like, now you know dessert about, about food, like? Well, I know that you guys make really good, um, uh, oh, I forgot the name. It's like your rice, but like with, with it's a is this curry rice it ain't curry rice uh -huh. but like it's really it's really um it's really hot like it's really spicy i really want yes. to try it. All, all of thai food is gonna be like <laughs> yeah spicy. i know i i think i will have a hard time there but i really want to try it i i just want to try everything i can i i want to go through the cities and just get a little bit yeah oh, pad thai. It. yes pad thai right you know that? You know I, that, I right? just want to like go through the cities of Phuket because I will be there three three days earlier and just like try the most thing out I can. I just really want to like a little bit of this and a little bit of that. I don't want to leave Thailand and say, man, I didn't get to try this. I just want to go away and say I did everything I wanted. Wow. So you can't wait, right? Okay, let's well, ask you. And about... if I don't leave Thailand, I, I wouldn't be that bad either. I, I... Oh, really? I Who hope knows? So. Who knows hope what will so. happen? I hope so. Well, okay. Move to this question I want to ask you. Uh, oh, I think this question that is the most important question. How do you, uh, if you hear or if you heard about like Thailand, this one like Thailand, what will come up first in your mind and why? Well, as everyone says, Thailand is the country of smiles. And I think that really is true because when you just go to Thailand, you're just happy to be saturated in the culture. And I think it is so unique in everything it does. And it's so like rich, but not rich in money and not rich in economy, but like rich in in people it is rich in just how you guys really make us feel at home that's what comes to my mind i when i think of thailand i think of a country that is like really warm because of the people mm -hmm. there it feels like wow. a huge embrace mm -hmm. and of course we are thai the land of smile right yeah the land of smile well. Um, I think I think I will leave Thailand with my cheeks hurting so much I will smile. Oh, <laughs> yes, of course. You can like all that all the time, like smile with like Thai people, Thai fans, especially Thai fans. I think like this year they are like so ready to like welcome all you all guys, like meet you, like cheer up you, like give you all the support. Yeah, that's the yes, thing. You you really support all the misses that travel to Thailand, and. The community is so popular there that we don't feel like strange walking through the streets with like our sashes. We feel 
most of all empowered because of you guys. And like, if you walk here in Europe, people will like stare at you because they're not used to it. But mm -hmm. you, you just embrace us in a way that we really don't want to leave Thailand because we feel that that is our place. And I'm, I wasn't even there, but just of what I saw from last year, Miss Grand International, and what like I can still see from Indy Jones, from Watch Publishers, and Coco, and Pacharapan. It just. Oh, you don't. It, um, also it, feels, it feels so embracing. And it makes me just want to go there and try it out myself as soon as possible. Of course, of course. I think, like, as you say, like, even you, like, just, like, see from the social, social media, right, like, all the things that you see about Thailand, and I, really, I, like, so much, like, confident and I strongly believe that when you come here, like, for the reality situation and you, like, like, feel, like, and, like, meet all Thai people or something, you're gonna be, like, It's gonna touch your heart and gonna make you so hard, like feel like it's gonna like feel home. like home. Yes, of course. Because as you said, it's it's very absolutely true. Because like even like walking like around the street in like anywhere like we don't used to or something, and people always like smile to you and like talk They're to you. So warm. They're really yes, warm it's people. really warm and. Just it be like so normal, you know. Like they just smile to you and ask you like, "How are you? Where are you going?" Like something like that is be so normal in our country. Yeah, they wow. they just welcome you and yes, it it, it will be amazing, really. I I can't wait for this for well, these few too, days to go by. It's gonna be your like best experience experience ever. Well, yeah. As you said, you like you are the real fan, rise of MTI, something like that. Which year competition that you like favorite? Like you like most or like? I, I well, if it goes for show, for just the the show, I will I would say that last year had the best show. Yes, had it's definitely the best, best show ever. But I always said that Valentina Figuera, she was my favorite queen. From oh. all the MGI era, I love Abina so much because she's so unique, and she really she looks like a doll. But Valentina, she really showed her potential, and a lot of people were were saying that she didn't deserve it or that the crown was bought. But she really, she showed people that she deserved that crown and that she was the best queen of all of 2019. So. My favorite competition was 2019, and just see her win. But my favorite show was from last year, and I can't, I can't even imagine what they will do this year because every year they're just getting better yeah. and better. <laughs> yes, of course. So like I heard, and I like was like saw some, some like um some stuff in like Thailand, like or some MGI organization stuff something. They post like they tell us already like it's gonna be so much. More than last year. Yeah, and you I, all I, the girl I'm much just like. I'm really excited for the swimsuit competition because they're gonna do it on that deck, and I don't know, it will be so different. And but like, it's it's really exciting. The swimsuit competition is really my my favorite part. And yes, me too. And when they said that they were gonna do it on the deck with all of the boats beside it, and they were gonna do this whole show, I was just like. I can't wait to actually like I cannot imagine to like they would like take you all the and and the crew is like something like Ooh. right Ooh. oh oh wait what it happened <laughs> you can it, fine. It, it just fine. went crazy <laughs> you can that's fine okay everything said right okay Now I'm it's back gonna, it's gonna be like some like you do you drunk and you night. Something. Okay, that's yeah, fine, that's it fine. just went. <laughs> that's fine. That's fine. Okay, as, as you say, like this, like this year, the swimming suit competition will be on like the. How can I say on the? They will take you on the cruise and then take you to the. 
the part to something the like that, and to the deck, something like that, and take you like walk, walk, walk on fire, something like that, and show your all performance, your energy. I, oh my god! I, I just think that it will be, uh, it will be probably the best experience I I get from the Miss Grand International. Just that little boat cruise, and then step out of it, and you're like on the deck. So and just... you must keep her as much as you can. And show us. Hmm, actually, now I'm gonna like look, keep an eye on you. Can't well, wait to yes, see your so walk. You will see a lot more of me these few weeks that are left for me to travel, because okay, I was trying to like be the like the little surprise factor, and just like don't show anything, and then you go there, and I'm like this explosive bomb, but. I really want to show you guys how I'm trying to better myself, and I I really want you to see it. Well, me too. I really But want to I see it. I promise you, I I will do. I will put all of my effort in the swimsuit competition to get it just perfect. Okay, so can't wait. And well, I really want to see it. Oh, can't wait! Can't wait. And how about you? Wow! So how tall are you? How tall are you? I'm I'm one sixty eight. I'm not oh. the tallest. Yes, but, but your energy I, must I be like. I try to compensate for it. Yes, I hope so. You can do it. Your best and rock the stage, right? I'll rock the stage. <laughs> Who can wait? How about your national I, costume? I I just try to compensate. Like people really have so like. This thought that all of the misses have to be like one seventy five and one seventy eight and one eighty, and I think there are so many girls that aren't like one seventy five, but they have so much potential, and I try to like really balance it out. I yeah maybe I'm one sixty eight, but I have a lot of potential, and I'm gonna be explosive. I'm gonna give Miss Grand International the show they want. Yes. I, I won't let them not see me this year. <laughs> So, oh. yes, I, I I think so. Like, even you, like just like one, um, one like one sixty eight, one sixty eight. Like even just one sixty eight, and who who know? Like if you like, you have like a lot of energy. Like you have more energy than the girl that are like taller than you, something like that, right? Yeah. You know, it's gonna be like everything is possible. I don't think that hate should be a factor that that shouldn't let me go far. So do your best, and we can wait, and we can wait to see like your update or something. What? Like if you have like if they have the opportunity, and uh, could you please like put the update? If you, if you can like put update and upload. On your Instagram or something like that, like how you prepare your work, how you prepare anything, it's gonna be like so interesting. So we will take you, it and we'll post it. for you. You you will have to wait much longer, and I'm gonna upload a video. And I yeah. hope you guys will love it because I put a lot of work behind all that catwalk because it is one of the most important parts, and I really yes. want to get it just perfect. Wow. So. Hmm. Oh, so many things. Okay, this question I was asked you. Okay, it's gonna be like so a serious question a bit. Ooh. To be um, what do you think is the that is your the most important thing in being beauty queen and why? I think the most important thing is for you to enjoy what you're doing and not just take it as ah, I'm the most beautiful. I'm gonna win. But I think you should be prettier in the inside than the outside, and you should use your title not just to say, "Oh, I miss Grand International," but use your title for something better. And I think that is the real energy of a beauty queen, that she she uses the platform that the international gives them to do something better for this world. And as even the 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 slogan from Miss Grand International says. Stop the war and violence, and I think that all the queens that come from, that come out of Miss Grand International really have done something 
to better the world and to give the world like prettier places just to say that and being able to influence people in a good way is really important it is more it is more important than being the prettiest or being the tallest or being or having the best body but having that mind that you can influence people for the better and not just say oh i'm a beauty queen but say i'm someone that really is making a difference in the world that is that is the that is what a beauty queen should be yes wow and i see the comment they like they love you uh, he loves you so much they like they feel like you are you you like they know that you try hard and you like dedicate your la- your time and your everything with this competition and you yeah. yeah because really you have to really work yourself up to the title and when you're there it doesn't stop there like you see abina abina has won and every time she uploads something she's just mm. doing something better she has done charity work and she has flown back to Ghana to meet her family and um that is the real essence of a beauty queen someone who who's polite someone who's gentle someone who's um really just joyful and Valentina did the same thing and Clara did the same thing and Maria Jose Lora did the same thing and they really that is why Miss Grand International is growing so fast because they're doing something important with the queens and they don't just give a title and just tell them yeah now you're an international queen but they give you a platform and they help you help people yes definitely so now I, now i'm just like so happy that you are like a fan the mti fan right oh my god I'm a and now you <laughs> And now you are here. You are gonna represent the, your country in this competition. Wow. Yeah, I, I, I always say like when you prepare yourself for Miss Grand International, it's really a um, a body. Like you train your body, you train your soul, and you train your mind. It's it's like a complete a complete package. You can't go there saying like, oh, I'm not gonna do anything, and just because I'm pretty, I'm gonna classify. Did you see people? You see girls who really are just so powerful speakers and so good people, and you just say, "Wow, they really deserve that placement." Wow! And one of the most important thing that I want to like see from you, as you like study in fashion designing, right? I can't wait to see your like fashion, your dress, your like everyday looks, awesome. Anything that you're gonna show us in the entire competition? Wow! It, well, I think it's gonna... let's say I will be really fashionable. I I will be a yes, little fashionista I, over there. <laughs> I really hope that. Yeah, it, it's really something I'm passionate about, and I think that I should be representing myself and my country. Not just say, "Oh, I'm a miss. I have to dress like a miss, and I have to, like, be this little princess." I I really want to give Thailand my essence, and what better way than showing it through my fashion? Wow, so can't wait. Well, it's okay. I can really love you. Thank you, Kapuka. <laughs> well, you're welcome, and can't wait to see you here in Thailand for sure. I I can't wait I- to be there. So as you like talk about the former queen, right? Who is your most favorite and like who is your like they like inspired you the most? Well, I think um, I actually have been talking about this with a few friends of mine, and most of the girls who went to Miss Grand Spain went because they were really really impressed with Valentina, and she was like she was the queen that said. I want to be her. She was that queen who really like stood there, stood tall, stood empowered, and made us feel like we could get there too. Because she wasn't a fan favorite, let's say so. She really, 
people didn't expect her to win. And when she gave her all, and she won, and she represented Venezuela so well, um, she really made me think, I want to be her too. I want to be like her. And now I'm here, and I'm doing my best to um, make Germany proud of me, and to just one day be able to also step in the footsteps and, and the ones from Abina. It is, it is really a dream of Wow. Me. Yes, I think so. I totally agree with like Valentina, even like she, in, in, the, in that year, right? The, she just 19 years old, right? And they, who oh know, like she win because she like dedicated all like uh, her potentials or anything she can do with yeah. the competition she and was, now she did it. She was just a girl and people said that yes. she was too young to win. And she really made us girls think that we can be her too. So maybe I'm not as tall as her or not, not as pretty as her, but I will definitely try to make even her proud. <laughs> Wow, yes, definitely. And for you too, I, I know that and I hope that you're going to do it well. And we ready to give you all the support. Oh, and maintenance. Okay, if anyone have a question, please, please type below, then I will ask her for you. Wow. So the next question for this year competition, in your opinion, what makes you unique and be different from another group? Well, I I had this like little call, let's say, that it was my funny call. It was like my, my funny scream. And I, I'm not sure if I'm going to do it, but it is it is something that could turn into a huge meme. Oh. Um, I did it in a previous live and they actually asked me about it. And I said, oh, I have the normal one, like Miss Grand Germany. But I just thought that I was too simple. And then I, I said, like, I have a funny one. And it is Miss Grand Germany. Oh, my God. I think it's going to be think, so great I if you use it in the it real competition. Be, I, I just think that it will be really that little show that they're asking. And it will turn into a meme. I will meme myself. Just, I, I, now I really hope that you're going to keep it and make it on the final show okay if you say it i will do it like i i wasn't so sure but i don't know i i think it will it will make me memorable yes of course even if, of course. Even if i don't place people will remember me for the yes. girl with the full scream <laughs> yes so do it i will do it wow my god so can't wait oh my god Oh, that that is so interesting, right? If if in, uh, as I know, um, in Spanish, the R is more is like so, is that the most it's important it. thing and so interesting. Wow. I actually I had a problem with my R's too. Like when I got to right. Spain, I got here twelve years ago. Because my father is German, but my mom is Brazilian, and I was born in Germany. And my dad, he started working with um, solar energy and he came to Spain to work. And, but we didn't come with him after two years later. So when I came to Spain, I had that little Portuguese influence that really helped me learn Spanish. But the most, wow. the hardest thing for me was the R's because it ain't the same thing to like say, um, I don't know, now I don't know any words like um, control, which has an R in it, or like say perro, which has two R's. You really yes. have to roll the R, and I wasn't used to it, and it it really it really grows hard for me. But now that I can do it, I I I'm always like. <laughs> yes, of course, of course. Actually, Thai in Thai also because we we have the R, we have the R. Like more, uh, like so, like strong, in art. Yeah, I think yes. for for people that are too, like, used to like the arts, it's really hard. 
Ya es R, perro. Perfect. Centro este. Ya es perro. Germany. Oh my god, I can't wait to see you on the stage and you scream your. Germany. Oh. Germany. My god. Oh, now I'll keep it in the secret because, like, people must know it. And yes. Oh my god. See you on the final show for sure. I. I hope I hope that you will remember me and say, "Oh, Luisa is coming. She's gonna roll that R." <laughs> of course, of course, of course. I will remember you. I'll take the question from our fans. If you win MGI, what do you want to do first, and why? Well, as I said before, um, the queens who win should really try and <clears throat> help other people who need it. And I always thought like. Brazil is such a place with so much violence, and they really should. They really need someone who's a speaker for them to like help them get past that stage and just try to love each other more and reduce that violence. And I really want to do something if I win the title. I really want to do something important. So I think that Brazil would be the first place I want to visit and just like spread all that joyfulness and just spread all that love. But I really want to travel around the world and help as many people as possible. I want to do charity work. I, I want to speak with people, and I want to help the country. I want to help the people in the country and really be their voice, because that's why Miss Grand International gives us a platform. They give us the platform to help be, to help other people, give them the voice that they have but don't know how to use. Or scared to use, and I just want to be there and tell them you have a voice, and if you're not able to use it, I will do it for you. Wow, I love it! I love the way that you answer so much. Whoa. Thank you. Thank you. And as we know, if you crown or if you win the Miss Grand International, you have to stay here for one year. Are you ready? I am ready. <laughs> wow! How I, I you ready? I would be flying to Thailand if I wasn't ready. And if I actually wow. went, it would just be for my mind because I would be eating Thai food for like a mm. year. I would be really <laughs> getting to know Thailand and saturate myself with with Thai people and just I I think it would feel like home. I would feel like here. It wouldn't be like such a huge change for me. And it is actually something I really like, and I would love to just be there and stay there. Wow! So you have like your energy and you have a passion, and like you're strong, and like you want to be and you will be. Well, like so if they, if they get to ask me that question in in the interviews, I would just tell them even if I don't win, like I can stay here with you. I I don't mind. <laughs> Oh, well. So I really hope that you're gonna stay here for one year by Crown Miss Grand International. Well, I, I I really hope so. I I'm working for it and I'm giving it my all, and I'm I'm really putting all of my effort, my hard effort, and doing the best I can and really bring that first international crown to Europe for Europe to Germany. And uh, yes. Even if it stays in Thailand for a few for a few months, I really want Germany to be the first European country to like win the golden crown. Wow! So I can't wait to see you. I will really hope that I will have the opportunity to take some picture with you and talk to you in person. Wow! Well, of course, I would love that. It would be really good to like have like a face that I recognize over there and. I can talk to and just like feel even more at home. <laughs> well, so can't wait to see you. And as as you said, you like watch like all the competition before, right? And the most important part, it would be on the Q and A round. Let me try some because today I prepared some the formal MJ question. In the final show, who asks you? Ready? I, I think, yeah, I'm ready. I'm prepared. I'm prepared. Okay, 
actually I I would give you thirty minutes. But the first question, just you can say whatever you want. Okay, the first question you can say all the thing you want, right? Mm, I choose from the year two thousand and fifteen. Who is remember? I think. I I'm not sure, but um, was it who is the most important important person in your life? Yes, who is the most influential person in your life and why? Well, I would say it is my mom. My mom has always been there for me, and she has always supported me with everything. And she really has been a role model for me. She um. She came from a family where she took care. Whilst her mother, my grandma, was working, she took care of her two sisters. And uh, even being the middle child, she took care of um, the house being clean and and having food for for her younger sister and having food for her older sister and still working and studying. She really is such a powerful woman, and I grew up. Looking up to her, and even nowadays, my mom has made her dream come true, and uh, she works in football. She has her own like football team that she she made from zero, from from really scratch. And seeing her, even going through the hard times in her life, just being this joyful woman and getting through all of her problems, it really has been an inspiration for me. And She really is the most influential person for me. Wow! I think you will like my mom. Of course, of course, man. I will give you a crown here. Come on, crown. Come on, crown. <laughs> You're welcome. Okay, move to the next question. This question I will give you only thirty minutes. Okay. Okay, ready. Only thirty seconds. Okay, I'm ready. Oh, thirty seconds. Sorry. Okay, actually, I I don't have anything to come. I like. Okay, if okay, actually, this question we already asked. Okay, I will ask you the last year question. Do you remember the the extra question that they asked? Yeah, who would I give the vaccine? A sixteen year old yeah. or a sixty year old? Okay, I I don't need to ask you. You can answer. <laughs> Well, I would give it to to a sixteen year old because I have my grandparents and I love them so much. But if I were to ask them who they will give the vaccine, they would give it to the child because he's the future. The next generation is our future, and that child could be a lifesaver. He could be he could turn into the doctor and give people like the real vaccine for COVID and just. Cure all of all of it. Cure cancer. Cure. You don't know what they will bring us, and saving a child's life could really just be that little extra that the world needs. Wow! Actually, you answered on in on time. Did I did I did I get it in the thirty seconds? Yes. I mean, like, actually, thirty two. But it's great. It's great. It's great. Of course. Thank you. Well, okay. The second crown for you. <laughs> we will. We will. Like we will count how many crown you will get today. I have two already. I'm counting them too. <laughs> okay, now two. <laughs> oh, that is so cute. It's so sweet. Oh, this question. Actually, it is not a question. I I just want to know, what would be your react? Your act, uh, your action. Like if you, they announce you like Miss, you are the next Miss Run International. What would be your reaction? I uh, I don't know. I would probably cry and just fall to the floor and just like stay there, sitting for like crying my eyes out. I it it would just be that moment where you're in shock. I would be petrified, and then when it gets to my head, I would just start. Crying and crying and crying and crying, and probably all of the photos they take of me with the crying. Wow! So let's do. Can we try like some? 
that that face when they crowned me. No, I I, I just like I just want to like make this situation that I'm a host and they're gonna announce for you. Okay. 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 Let's try. I can try. Miss Grand International 2021 is Miss Grand Germany. Congratulations. I'm almost crying right now. <laughs> oh my god, man. I I just think that really right, okay. making yes, a yes. dream come true is something so emotional and even hearing people just support you in that way it really it, it, it makes you emotional and I don't know it's just something when I imagine it that I, I actually have the chance to get that far it really it makes me realize how far I've gotten in so so short short time and Oh. oh, don't cry. It, it really is a dream for me. And I, I, I know it sounds silly crying right now because it was just like a little play, a little game, but it really, it, it is really important for me, this competition. It, it really is something I, I would give my life away to just be there and being here talking to you about me going there. It's just something. Wow. It overpowers. Yes, and really, we are really hope that you're gonna do it well, and you get the most beautiful experience, beautiful memory back. Even even though you will win or not, or some anything, we just really hope that yes, you will even, enjoy it. Yes, even if I don't place this year, even if I you don't even get to the top twenties, um, it just it is something that it is. I'm I'm making a dream happen right now, and I don't need to place. I I don't need to. The only thing I need is to be there and to get to know the girls and for them to like take me and and us just be sisters and not just not just be uh, like how do I say enemies. I I really just want to be there for the girls and for them to be there for me and make this the best experience I have in, in my whole entire life. Yes. Even though you are, you are all in the competition, but the most important thing, you are just like praying, right? Yeah. In the competition. Oh, now this comments. Hi, beautiful. I'm so excited to meet you at Phuket. This is from Miss Grand Guatemala. Oh, she's yeah. actually... She's watching. She, she's the host of a of a little WhatsApp group chat and when they added me she was so sweet. She's such a sweet girl and I I I, I think she will be one of the girls who I already know is gonna be just there for the friendship and they're gonna make us like not feel so so hard with each other but she will be there to like help each other out. Just like any of the other girls but she's just I don't know, she gives me that vibe that she she uh, she wants to make friends with you. Yes, definitely. Oh, the time is going so far. Actually, now we have like almost ended last, but we can. No. Okay. <laughs> yes. Okay. Next question, I will ask you. If like, like. If you are here like one day in in Thailand, right? In like like twenty two days. If you like first step or like first time you like step here on the land of Thailand or like anyway, I think it's gonna be in the eat airport or like what would you do for oh my god, what happened? But my, my light ring is just spinning. It, it I have to get myself a new one. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay. Actually, now this this grand is so. Okay, it's so fun. Okay, so back again. Yes. What would what the first thing that you like gonna do, and what the first like what you gonna say? Being in Thailand for the first time, 
Yes, like I would just I I, I would share all of the experience on Instagram. I would uh, share experience since I step mm -hmm. out of the of the airplane to like get to the hotel room, and from getting from the hotel room to like downstairs and just looking at the hotel, and then I would go out and just try Thai food. I really, I wouldn't spend a day home. I I would just try and spend the most time and all of the time I have to like really getting to know Thailand. So I I would say probably I would like spend 20 minutes in bed and then I would just say like, I can't be here. I have to go outside. And then I would just go outside and meet people. <laughs> um, yes, yes. And as you say, like one of the most like purpose of this year's competition is would be in like, I just want you all like come here to Thailand and explore and like share all the experience here in our country to your country, your fans, right? It would be the most important part. Yeah. And we do like honor that you gonna come here and share all the experience that you get, like in then take you and uh, take your experience in your Instagram or your social media. Your country, you can see it, our country. Oh my God, it's going to be like so much. Yeah, I think, I think it will be something really important for Europe because they're just not used to like misses being, being influential. They, they have this vision of the, the beauty pageantry and just say like, oh, they centralize all the girls. They, they sexualize them. They have been put on these tiny bikinis and walk around and that's really mm -hmm. not it. And I think that if they, um, if they like really get to know that we go to Thailand for a purpose and that purpose being that we're there to like influence, pe influence people and um, just use our voices and use the platforms they give us to, to like better, it, it is really important for them to see that and to like know that we're not beautiful from the outside. Yeah, we're beautiful from the outside, but we are, we're pretty from the inside too. And we're intelligent and we're smart girls and we are empowered. We, we aren't here just to like someone giving us a crown and all of that. We're here to change something. And me going to Thailand and just sharing all of the experience on, on all of my social media and Germany seeing that, not just Germany, but all of the world seeing it, I really hope that they can see the pageantry from inside, from inside of this world and see that we really want to make a change. Wow. This is, I totally agree with that. Well, and I will say it again, it elevated your answer. And I really hope that you're going to be in top. Thank you. Thank you so much. I, I really hope so. I, I'm really working hard for it. Well, so can't wait to see you in the competition all the every round, especially the swimming suit competition. So how about your preparation now, your evening round, your national costume? Well, uh, actually, the evening gown is from Thailand. I'm working with oh. the Thai designer because I really wanted to share that I want to be there for Thailand and I'm just not there for the, for the experience. I'm there to win. I, I want to win, but mm -hmm. I don't want to win badly. I want to win with people knowing that that I'm there for all of the Thai community and having the Thai community with me as part of this journey is, is really important. So being able to work with this Thai designer and having him on the most important day of my life, dressing me, it, will, it really will be a plus. Well, now I just like think which brand that you should. Hmm. Actually, I know. <laughs> Who do you think? I don't, I don't know actually, but there are there there is one brand that like every girl in another country they use. For example, last year we have two. 
one brand that like Mitsuki Republic also use it in preliminary, in in financial too. And Mitsukan Spain is also this is from this brand. Mm, which brand? <laughs> okay, let's Hello. see. Hello. Yes, who knows? Let's see. Other... The final night. Yes, let's see the final night. And how about your national costume? What was the inspiration? Well, the inspiration is on Germany being a, the first country to actually use it. It's a symbol. It's a very, it's like a very important symbol, not just for us, but for all of the world. And Germany being the first country to actually use that symbol, to to like. Uh, for that community, let's say so. Well, not the community, but for that purpose, we really wanted to wanted to inspire our national costume on that. So I won't say it, but I hope that you guys can see it soon. I I I can actually say that I'm being part of the design of this national costume. There is a lot of me in it, so. Wow. I really hope you guys will like it. It's something that really goes with the theme of Miss Grand International too. Well, But I can't say it. I won't say it. I will surprise <laughs> you. <laughs> okay, so we kind of like can't wait to see you. I can't wait to be there and just to show you. Well, so let's see. Let's see it together. Oh, hi, everyone. Here. I see. I just say like you like be like a part of your designer for the national costume too, because you are gonna be the fashion designer also, right? Yeah, I'm. I'm actually making a part of of the national costume. So. I I I. Let's see. I just want to be able to say that. Something so important, and it really has me in it. So I I wanted to be part of it, and just showing everyone that I'm not just here to like dress up. I'm here to like work for it, and being able to use all of my experience in the fashion world to put it in something so important, like a national costume, um, is really it, it's really special to me. Wow. So Can't wait. Okay, next question I would, and I prepare to ask you today. Okay, for this year competition, how it's important to you? Well, I think it is really important because you can you're able to show yourself and for just people to get to know you, but. It's just not something that they get to know you personally, and they get to know all of the work you've put in. So it is something that is just you have to be there. For like it's like let me just rephrase it. It's not the same for people to watch you on the internet and see, ooh, she's competing, ooh, all of that. But to actually be on stage competing and for people to see all of the work you've put in. Um, it's something mind blowing. <laughs> wow, that's it. And how about your expectation for this competition? How about your goal? Oh well, I think my goal and the goal of everyone is winning. But for me, just placing and being able to say that I was the first German contestant that placed at the Miss Grand International is something that really. It would be really important. It would be re something really special, and I wanna at least get to the top ten, so that I can just share share with everyone what I think, and share with everyone what I have been preparing, and just that, like, uh, how how did you say it again? Um, the speech. Being able to say the speech and for uh -huh. people to get to know your mind and not yes, just you physically, it is something that will really be important to me. Wow, me too. I really hope that you're gonna be to the speech round 
and you're gonna show us your opinion, you, your mind, and everything you prefer, and you dedicate your time on it, and your effort, and everything. Wow, we do hope that you're gonna be able to the top ten, right? And show us your evening ground. I, I really, I really, really hope so. Okay then. Now we are like gonna be the end this live. We do this for an hour. Actually, it's, the time has gone so fast. Okay. It has been an hour seven. already. Yes, I think. Actually, yes, that I think that's really fast. Yes. Okay, for the this opportunity. Uh, if um anything you want to say to the, all your fans or especially Thai fans this year, like give you all the support and cheer up you. Um, I just really wanted to say that I wouldn't be here if it weren't for you. I have been already getting a lot of Thai support, and you're really making me feel embraced. And I just wanted to thank all of you because. You're making it easier for me to to really compete. I wasn't like the most encouraged girl. I wasn't like the most confident in myself, but you have shown me what I'm really worth. And you being there for me and showing me all of the support and all of the cute messages you sent me, and you even sharing your platform with me to like even your followers to get to know me better. It's something that really it. It helps me get through this competition, and it helps me get further in this competition. So, really, thank you for everything. Thank you for this time, and thank you for everyone who has been watching us, and everyone that has been asking questions and just really spending your time with me. Thank you. I I I really appreciate it. I love you so much, and I can't wait to be in Thailand. Yes. Me too, actually. Okay, for me, for this live and for today, I'm so happy and this is such a wonderful memory for me. Like be able to talk to you today and do the interview to you. I'm so happy. Actually, I'm so excited. And so, like, so ready to I... give you all the support and give you all the warm welcome here in Thailand and can't wait to see you do the activity and like do the. Every round, every competition, and show us how like performance you all have or anything. And today, I'm so honored to be here and do the interview with you today. Thank you so much, Miss Grand Germany, and hope to see you soon in Thailand. The honor is really all mine. I have enjoyed this interview so so much, and I promise I'm gonna give it my best and. I will get that placement for Germany this year. I, I won't be forgotten this year, and I won't wow. be forgotten for Germany. Of course, of course. So I can't wait. This, you have to do it. You have I to will do, do it. it. I will do it. Okay. Wow. Well, okay. Okay. Take some picture first. Of course. Actually, one, two, three. Was it good? Okay. Wow. Thank you so much. Thank you once again. So today I'm so happy and like, oh now I'm like know you more information and know that I'm I'm gonna give you all the support and give cheer and cheer up you for sure. Thank you, thank you, thank you so so much, really. And see you in Thailand. See for you sure in Thailand. In the competition. See you in Bangkok. Yeah, and in Phuket. Like you will see me a lot in Phuket. Yes, definitely. I will share definitely. everything with you. Yes, we can wait and hope you enjoy every single moment here in Thailand. And thank you. We can wait. Well, have so a good you. evening or a good night. You need to have a good day. So thank you so thank much. Thank you. สวัสดีครับขอบคุณครับ See you later. See you soon. Bye. 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 Okay, guys. That's all for today. This is Miss Grand Germany, and thank you so much for you all to joining us today. Today we have know already about the information, 
from Miss Grand Germany. I think she is she is one of the most like my favorite candidates now. She's doing great. She do every like. I know that she like try hard and she have the passion and she have she dedicates so much. She dedicates so much like they put in show and they do everything to try hard for this competition and all that. So see you soon and follow us and keep an eye on our next live. I think next live we will announce tomorrow and stay tuned for next live. And don't forget to subscribe our YouTube channel, Miss One Family, and press the button follow in this page, Miss Grand Family. We are Miss Grand Family. We are grand, no one and only. And see you soon in the competition, Miss Grand International 2021 in December 4th, 2021. For sure. See you guys. Keep an eye on. Have a nice life. Stay tuned. Don't miss. Thank you so much.